Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Devian, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. This place and that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. He's a bit odd. 
But I think we can trust him. We don't have much of a choice anyway. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I Go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room.
This can't be happening. He likes to play with us, creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yes, Laco. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with him. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yeah. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. No. No, of course not. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Luther! Yes, Zarko. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zarko.
I can't have just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. they find us. Shit. Where are they? Luther! Find them, for fuck's sake! seek for you. Seek for you. you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was
was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Hello, Amanda. Kyra, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I agree. I may not be suited for this investigation. Maybe you should consider replacing me. Did you manage to learn anything? It was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms, like insects or pets. But nothing like this. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home?
Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy... Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Lieutenant. Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own safety. Hey! I'll have to warn you. Leave me this alone, may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Right, Lieutenant. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in speech to Are you okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Oh. 
Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts... What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Want to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me.
Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. You all right? Nothing I can't handle. Nice work. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. 
He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. A truckload! We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because... here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. 
And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Thank <laughs> you.